Royal AM players are not happy with the gesture made by the club owner Sean Mukize and chairman Andy Mpisane of bringing their winning bonus to the field soon after winning the KwaZulu-Natal derby. The flamboyant business family thought it was a great idea to flaunt the cash soon after their 2-1 victory over Maritzburg United, but they achieved the opposite, demoralize and humiliate the players. In a match remembered in the history of Royal AM, the hosts took a late lead at the Chastworth Stadium through Sepani Listalo in the 71st minute, having controlled the game for just over an hour. The lead was short-lived as Izukile Kewuti scored for Maritzburg United 15 minutes later. In a typical Royal AM fashion, the John Maduka-led team retook the lead in extra time to secure historic Cosby Natal debut points. Soon after the whistle went, the club owner Mkize and a youthful son, who serves as chairman and player of the club, emerged from the stands with the latter holding a case full of $200 notes. Tension was evident on the field as other players voiced their concern over the gesture, which is unusual in professional football. Hands were being thrown back and forth as the players tried to convey their message to their bosses peacefully. One player in particular who was not happy with the incident was Titi Somonamodi. He could be heard saying, Coach took to them, Mamkize and son, not to bring it, the money here, and they mustn't bring it here. Disgruntled voices could be heard in the background as players sounded their dissatisfaction with the move. Earlier last month, the club made headlines after failing to pay their bloated wage bill, resulting from the merging of Blue 14 Celtic and Royal AM. However, the club owner refuted the claims and attributed the reports to lack of information by the journalists and the work of detractors. Mamkeza brought the Premier Soccer League status of Bloemfontein Celtic after she lost court cases to take a team from the second to the first division.